this little tutorial is going to show you how to set up Windows XP to make it a little bit sleeker and to use a lot, some less resources. You go over to the start menu and click on right click on properties and then by default it's set on start menu which is like that and we see this I don't like that so I just change it so I right click on the, there click on properties then click on classic start menu let me go up to the desktop click right click on it go to properties we'll start over towards the left go down to settings and you can set your settings wherever you feel comfortable with Then we go over to appearance. I'm not too picky on appearance, but I, leave, I do like the Windows Classic style, so I'll select that. Then the screensaver. I don't like a screensaver. Some people do. It's just personal preference. So most of them, it's come set by default to something. I turn mine off. And uh, you got power to adjust monitor power settings and save energy click power so you click on that by default it's set to port power scheme is home office desktop settings for home office desktop power scheme turn off the monitor after 20 minutes well we don't want to do that so we're going to put it set it to always on if I want to turn off my monitor I'll do it manually and we just look at some other stuff here and click OK and apply and then OK and get out of here then we right click on my computer and then go to properties and the performance by default it says let windows choose what's best for my computer and you got all this real pretty stuff here but it slows things down so we're just going to adjust for best performance then click apply and then OK and then we get to down here to error reporting by default it says enable error reporting is already checked and then then it's for these other things uh, Windows report, operating system and programs but we want to disable error reporting but we want to be notified when critical errors occur so we set that like that let me go back into my computer no. we go back into settings then control panel now we go to security center and by default the firewall is on the automatic updates are on and the virus protection is not found Windows will keep nagging us about this for quite a while so what we should do we should change the way security center alerts me so uncheck all these boxes we're going to put a fire install a firewall later and probably a virus scanner and then we go over to there's two parts to this so we go over here and then for the firewall we want to turn it off click OK I have a really bad thing against Internet Explorer so we're going to install Firefox. Okay, so we'll go to my computer. Go over here. And I don't like how this looks either. So I get everything in alphabetical order. So I'll click Details. I'll click over here on Downloads. And it should be in alphabetical order, which it is. And then we'll click on this. which is says setup K 
K-Lite my Kodak pack. And then we'll click on Next. Codecs are kind of funny, so we just kind of play it by ear. And the reason you need a Kodak pack is a lot of times if you don't have the right one, when you play a video, sometimes you won't get any audio, but you'll get videos. Most of the time you won't get any video, but you'll get audio. That's because you're missing something, and that's what this is. We'll just skip the details on that, and then we'll click on... the default thingy and so we'll click on next and then we're going to install Windows Media Classic you can use it or you don't have to and we're not going to with this one so what we're going to do is We're going to associate it with um, and we're going to use media one of media classic for video and the audio. and then we'll just kind of run through this real quick like and um, make look at all this stuff which and we always want to make create a, a system restore point at the beginning of the installation that way in case there's a screw up something bad happens we go right back to it so we'll click that and then install and then we'll come back after it's installed while we're at it we're, we're going to install some more stuff that we're going to need here's a good program it's called the cleaner it works really good at cleaning up stuff and we don't want to add a toolbar toolbars are bad and we'll click all this stuff except for the first two so the add desktop shortcut and add start menu shortcuts that's what we want and click finish there and we'll go back up and we'll install the dot and that because sometimes we need that for different things and then we'll come back after that's loaded okay we got dot net installed okay go back up here and we'll see what we have here okay they have another uh, program that we need to put in is called Force Aspie. Without getting into the details of what it is, we'll just install it. And we'll do that, and it says Okay, so we installed Aspie layer, and then we're going to go up here or not or not oh that's it for the moment I'm gonna fix that and then we'll come back to something else thanks for watching